Hey guys, it's JQ Crafty. Welcome to my channel. I am excited because my goal is to make Christmas cards this year and I hadn't really gotten around to it. And then Jen and Daisy invited a bunch of us to join in with them in their Christmas card lifting series they do in November. And so I'm going to play along. I'm going to try and do three cards with this one and do them kind of three different ways. I brought out a stamp set I have and die set that has some tree designs on it that I think I will do. I have just two regular cards. One's a gray base and one's a black base. Um, ones I had pre-cut a long time ago and I already put an insert or an inside in it for writing. And then I have a gatefold that I want to maybe try and do um, the trees on there. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how that'll go, but we'll try it, right? Right, couldn't hurt. So I want to kind of get things arranged. I've got some collections here I wanna play with um, to do different things with, and let's get started. So I tried this out. So I wanted to tackle the gatefold one first, just because I knew that was gonna be the most difficult. And I have to say, um, it was, <laughs> uh, and it was the first, I haven't made cards in forever and I used to keep them very, 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 very simple. So, um, I had toyed with doing some ink blending on the other side just by scraping and then blending it together. And I really liked the way it looked. So then I decided to actually do it. And then I spritzed it with some water because they're all distressed oxides. I faded jeans, chip sapphire, and then it's not salvage patina. What is it? Is it broken china? No, it's a pale blue. Meh. Might be speckled egg. Speckled egg. Yes, yes. And as you can see, I have tons of green, green um, distress oxides over there as well. So I'm making this. This is the card base. So I wanted to make sure this was all done. I wanted kind of like a night sky look is what I was thinking. Um, so I did that on the gatefold part, sprinkled it with some shimmers. Um, as well in uh, this silver oh my gosh I don't remember what anything is called and I'm already going to tell you I cannot remember for sure some sometimes when I'm inking here which ones I used but I know I used forest moss a little bit not till later I used pine needles I used uh, rustic wilderness I'm pretty sure is the color that I make that whole panel there um I used bundled sage. I used a little bit of mowed lawn later. I used uh, old paper, um, iced spruce. I didn't use lucky clover, pine needles, uh, evergreen bough. I used all, so many greens. Okay, so I wanted colored trees. So the first thing I did is I just colored this panel with... I'm pretty sure was rustic wilderness. And then I think I stamped an old paper and then I took just some clear embossing um, powder and just embossed. And then I'm going to go ahead off camera and do some more embossing with the other patterns um, on this green. So I get some tone on tone. And I think um, I have embossing powders of pine needles and um, what's that? So I don't think I use salvage patina. I have pine needles and I did which other one? Or was it just pine needles? And then I, I only did a couple embossing. Oh, and then I have, um, I have a, it's a dis old distressed one in, what is this one? I did speckled egg embossing too. And then I, yeah, the pine needles is the distressed one, right? Yeah. So it looks, it has a texture to it, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. And then the embossing glaze is the, um, uh, salvage patina or speckled egg, sorry. Um, Shimmers is called Silver Bells. And it's a uh, old school classic Shimmers. Was that classic Shimmers paints? Just paints, yeah, paint pot. Um, sprinkled that on. So I am just going and then die cutting a bunch of trees. And I cut out a lot of that for you so you don't have to watch. But I die cut because it came with two separate dies. And then I decided to just do some white ones and a couple just plain black ones. And that way I had a little variety of color. I really like the lift we're doing that it's like all, it's kind of monochromatic what she does. I wanted a little more color in mine, I decided, um, but I wanted to stay kind of in the same family, but I wanted, I wanted some white. 
Um, and then I found some glitter cardstock in my little scrap bin um, that I used as well. And I die cut some trees out of that. And I wanted a little bit more pattern variation instead of just like all the same because some of them started looking the same even though I know they're all different ink colors. And I um, grab um, stencils and I'm going to stencil on some of the white ones. And this is where I use some of those other colors. So the person we are lifting, um, I will have it linked directly down below to the blog. It's at blog blom, uh, blog spot. <laughs> And that'll be linked, and it's Inga. Um, I'm pretty sure is how you say her name, and that is the lift we are doing for this day, which I am posting late. Surprise, surprise. But why is it that it took me like five days to make three cards when it takes me 30 minutes to make a 12 by 12 page? Can anyone explain that to me? <laughs> I think, well, this one was quite involved, but like I did most of this on one day, and then... I guess I just didn't have time to finish piecing it together. And then I kind of finished them over two other days. Um, and I had the video done Friday night. I just, I was exhausted. It was a long day. It was a long, frustrating day, let me tell you. Um, and so I, yeah, I just didn't get it put up until this morning. Um, but yeah. You also playing along um, for sure was as Jesse B and Janet. They will be linked down below as well as um, Daisy and Jen. So make sure you guys go watch theirs if you haven't. So I'm using a collection. I'm kind of basing this stuff off this collection. And just because I have some Christmas collections that have so much stuff with them that I wanted to use up some of that stuff and this is perfect. So th this one I'm kind of using is Echo Park Silent Night. I really, really like it. I bought it solely for the purpose of documenting my son's um, live nativity he was in last year. So I got a whole kit just for that. And I, I, I did it in a traveler's notebook. So it was even smaller. So I was like, well, that was silly. Um, <laughs> so I'm using this strip this um, border strip that was on the sticker sheet just kind of create a base because with the gatefold I wanted to overhang but I wanted something to be there and I figured the sticker would be good because then I continued on the inside so all of my Christmas cards I'm not doing anything on the inside really because I am gonna get a picture printed with like a sentiment on it from somewhere to put inside all the cards so at least because we usually do uh, the postcard style like Shutterfly wherever um, and so I really like that, but I wanted to do a handmade as aspect to it. So I probably will do, maybe not do all 60 of them handmade, especially because I think including after today, I only have seven made <laughs> and Christmas is next month, right? Um, but uh, hey, I'll get, I'll get like 20 done this month with just this, uh, with this series. So that's awesome. So I, um, using that, so I used that border strip just to create a like a base to overhang and then I continue on the inside that way if you saw it peeking out great if not that's fine and I ended up covering it all but I just layered up the trees and then um grabbed this good tidings of comfort and joy off the sticker sheet and added some silver lining Spiegel mom scrap sequence just the stars I'm going to pick out and sprinkle them all over and I'm already on to the next card and look at it. but like that card was so involved <laughs> And then I tied it just closed. So that one was done. So this one's going to be a lot simpler. This one, I cut this um, buffalo check panel so that I, when I do the twine, it doesn't need to hold it closed because these are just regular um, style cards. There's so many trees. Like people are like, oh, you're, you could use those in my scrap. I have so much stuff. I don't care. <laughs> so... There are so many trees, chipboard sticker wise, in this collection. This one is, is this another or Echo Park or is this Cartabella? <clears throat> I think this one's Cartabella. Farmhouse, yes. Farmhouse Christmas by Cartabella. I really love this collection. It's gorgeous. It's like everything I love about Christmas. Deep reds, greens, rustic metals, woods, you name it. Uh, and this one, so I just used the stickers and the chipboard of trees in pots, trees standing by themselves, and then a cute little Merry Christmas sticker that has like pine needles and stuff. And then I'm going to tie it with red twine. And to me, that one's simple, but I love it. It turned out really cute and it's all still the same kind of 
idea of layering the trees up on themselves. And ironically, I think the last one's my favorite and I'm not really sure why, but this one, yeah. And then I'm going to add glue and ATG to the back because like I said, I'm making these cards to actually be mailed. Um, I don't know if that's what other people do, but I want to make sure they don't fall apart, especially with that twine is on the back of it. I didn't just cut it and tuck it in because I wanted to make sure it stayed on. So I um, am doing that. So yep, there's that one done. So last but not least, I got this um, little, I think it was on, I think I got it last year. Um, yes, I did because it was when I was starting December Daily last year and I got it on a um, the email thing. You get the email and it's discounted collections. Oh my gosh. Anywho, and it is an illustrated faith and it's called Advent and I love it. It's like, I love all the colors. So my goal was to use this kind of for my December daily for this year. And I think I'm going to try. We'll see. I also bought other things that I could be using for my December daily and my December daily from last year ended up being kind of a mishmash of things. So I don't know if there's enough actually in here to be enough for an entire December daily, but it would be fun to like base my whole kit or my whole album off these colors because I really, really like it. So I took this really pretty paper that has um, metallic gold like dots all over it, and it's got basically pine um, twigs all over it. Love it. But it's also in some of the it's in very similar colors to all the stamping and inking I already did. So I'm going to use the four, five leftover trees I have. And I'm going to um, fussy cut out these white ones on um, these. It came, so this illustrated faith kit came with these like long, almost like bookmark style pages, but it's to put in traveler's notebooks and stuff, or it's for Bible journaling, I'm assuming. And these ones are for prayer, but I like that they're white trees and they just have green lines. So they look they're supposed to be like journaling spots, but it just looks like lined trees when you fussy cut them out. And so I really liked having more of the white on white aspect. And then I'm popping in the leftover one. So I still get some of that turquoise. And then there's one chipboard tree. There's a lot of trees in this little mini collection too. Um, that says joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Ah, I love it. This brings me all the nostalgia of like singing that song when I was a kid and, um, I went to a, like a private school, uh, Lutheran school and my son also does too. And my family, I mean, we're Christian. So it's like Christmas is about Jesus and Santa. <laughs> um, cause I'm still a child at heart, but yeah. Um, so we definitely keep Jesus in the center of our hearts for Christmas for sure. And, um, so I really liked this collection to bring that more. I'm trying to be more, yeah, in place with that. Um, finding more peace. Uh, so I'm just layering those up, really liking the white trees. I debated inking the edges, but I think I kind of like the white on white and like layering. And so that one's easy. Layer those up how I want, put that chipboard one down, um, tie a black and white piece of twine and same thing, glue and ATG to adhere the panel to my card. Um, and yeah, I, for some reason, I think this one's my favorite. I think it's just because it's simple. And then that is my sentiment and my decoration, that tree with the words. So I will have some lovely semi, like closer ups of these. I am trying out zoomed out on my, um, so the glare is less and I think it's helped a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that if you're being inspired to do some of these cards, you try them out. They're, the scrap lifts themselves are not like super complicated, which is really nice. Um, and you can make them complicated like I did with the gatefold or make them simple. And I think my simpler ones actually turned out better than my complicated ones. So thank you guys and we will see you next time. Bye.